Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and welcome back to another Eurovision 2021 reaction video and in today's video, judging by my outfit today and judging by the title down below, we are looking at Moldova's entry for the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest held in Rotterdam. That's right, Natalia is back. She brought us Prism last year for the 2020 Eurovision Song Contest held in Rotterdam and this year she has brought us Sugar. Now, I don't know about you, but this song sounds like a million miles apart from Prism. Prism and Sugar. Okay then. And I don't know about you guys, but Sugar to me sounds like a sweet bubblegum pop tune. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys now, Prism last year to me, uh, it really didn't grab my attention. It was a bit like, mm, meh. It seemed like a bland ballad to me. It didn't really grasp me. I didn't really get the hook. I didn't really get the essence. I didn't really get the vibe of the song. So I am really looking forward to seeing what Moldova have to offer with their 2021 offering of sugar. And I hope none of you are diabetic. Okay, bad pun alert. So it is time to dive in head first and have a little look at Moldova's offering for the 2021 contest. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Enough chat. Let's react. And before we get kicking, guys, I really want to know if you prefer prison or sugar. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I love you guys so much. So let's get kicking. Let's go. A crazy <laughs> <laughs> Random legs coming out of a box. I love how vibrant this is. Ooh, I love this dark pop essence. Very danceable. She has a very different vibe to her, doesn't she, this year? This is like Maroo! She's really taken the Maroo vibe mixed with her ballad, and this is the baby. Wow, is this even the same artist? What is she doing? It's so weird to think of an artist of going from like this emotional, painful ballad to this bop. I could totally jam out to this day in, day night. I could just imagine how they're going to stage this. But I love the girthy sounds. It really reminds me of Maroon. I love how sultry her vocals are. I love the metaphorical content here, but I really feel like lyrically it's not a lot of substance to it, is there, like there was with Prism. Really love that she's gone down this experimental route, but I don't feel like this is grasping me very much. You it's very danceable, I would definitely put this on my playlist, but does it stand up to the Eurovision content we've seen so far? I don't think so. I just can't get over how different she is. I really feel like this is going to be a guilty pleasure for a lot of people though, let's be honest. The production value to this song is very high though, I love the deep dance beats. Her vocals are on point as well, she can smash a ballad, she can smash a bop. Also, let's talk about the aesthetics. This could be amazing on stage. Imagine this perform live. Guys, that did not feel like three minutes. That felt like three seconds. Where did that time go? She absolutely smashed that out of the park and it was so different for her. Well guys, what can I say? Moldova has been like a roller coaster from the previous years. It's been like bop ballad, bop ballad, bop ballad. It has been all over the place and it's taken us on an emotional journey. And that song was no exception. That was Sweet Light like Sugar. I hope you don't have diabetes because that was full of cupcakes and full of frosting. Natalia absolutely smashed it. Yes, last year she brought us Prison and it was a bit of a dull ballad, I'm not gonna lie. It really kind of bored me a little bit. And this year she brought the vibes. She brought the essence. Aesthetically speaking, it was very, very strong. But where the hook was concerned, I can't actually remember it. I've just listened to it and I can't remember the lyrics, I can't remember the vocals, I can't remember the hook. I don't think it stands up to the Eurovision content we've seen so far. I think it sits on this kind of safe level. I think it will qualify, but I think it will sit on this kind of mid level. I don't think it's in danger of hitting my top 10. But it's a pleasant enough listen and I can very much jam out to it. It's just kind of there. It's better than last year, but it's not high in the quality stakes, is it? So guys, that's just my thought on Moldova this year. What I really want to know is what do you think of Moldova? Let me know all of your thoughts, all of your comments and all of your opinions down below in that comment section. I want to know if you prefer this kind of sweet and sultry side of Natalia or you prefer the deep emotional balance side of Natalia. Let me know all of your thoughts guys. 
Also, if you enjoy Moldova and you love the quirkiness and the diversity that they bring, please hit that thumbs up button and that subscribe button and that bell notification button. Then you'll keep up to date with all of the Eurovision content I have to bring you for the 2021 season. But guys, that's all for me today. All that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and look after yourselves. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. to all the